because you've been through a number of these big preliminary finals. What, how have you seen the guys here who haven't been through this experience? How they handle it? I think they've been fine so far. We've just gone about it like we have done the last uh, well, all year, basically. So um, still got a, a bit to go to the game. So um, yeah, now the boys have trained really well and prepared really well so far. It's been good. This is a theory that it's hard to make a grand final to win. You subscribe to that? Say that again, sorry. Hard, is Harder. it harder to make a grand final than to win one? Uh, yeah. Goes, yeah, well, going on my experiences I've played in six prelims and four of them have been decided by under a kick so they've been pretty hard to win um, yeah always been close games great clashes um, both teams are throwing everything at each other so yeah they're tough games they're tough to win and um, look we're just privileged to be in this position it's great to say that what about the week off is that is that a benefit then that, that you're seemingly fresh yeah, I think so. It can only help, I think. Um, means we get the extra week off, get some more miles into our legs, uh, train really well. Um, and it's great for me, being an older guy, get to freshen up a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's good. Have you had some of the young guys come to you and sort of asking for advice in playing in these sorts of these big games? Yeah, a couple of them have. Um, just asked me questions about what it's like and all this sort of stuff. But I think the guys handled, them, handled themselves really well last week against Richmond. Um, so yeah, they should get a lot of confidence out of that and um, yeah, hopefully we can put in a really good, strong performance this week. What is the most important bit of advice you do? Just, just to back themselves in, I think. Um, I just try and add a bit of experience and a bit of composure, particularly down at the back end. Um, I just encourage them to go out there and have a crack and, and go for it. Did you get advice when you were a young guy coming through from someone in a similar situation? Uh, we were a pretty young group going through when I first started, so um, we're all in it together as young guys. Um, but uh, yeah, you just learn along, learn, learn as you go along the way, um, and uh, yeah, you figure it out. It's it's a real privileged place to be. Yeah. Danger is a huge threat. Did you spend any time on him, or, or how did you shut him down? Yeah, I'm not sure who he'll, he'll get in. We'll go through Geelong uh, in a bit more depth over the next few days, but. Um, yeah, we all know what he's like. He's dangerous, he's powerful, um, crashes packs and kicks goals. We saw that on the weekend. So, yeah, we'll have something up our sleeve for him. But, um, yeah, we'll delve into that a little bit more in the next couple of days. What would a premiership mean to you after you I'm trying not to focus on that. I'm just trying to stay in the moment and, um, and focus on my preparation. But, um, yeah, oh, look, I do dream about it. Don't get me wrong. Um, it would be an unbelievable achievement. But, um, yeah, I think it'll just be a bit of a reward for um, what I've been through the last few years. And um, But, yeah, there's still a fair bit of water to go under the bridge, obviously. 12 years ago, you played against Gary Ablett in the grand final, and you beat him and made him a chance to end his career <laughs> this weekend. How, how does that sit with you? Oh, I haven't really thought about that, to be honest have with you. Have you thought about Gary Ablett, though, himself and his career? And how to oh, he's a um, champion player. What do you need to do to be able to stop him? Because he did have a huge influence the other night, but his best moments are still... Yeah, no, his, um, his impact on the game is still very big and he's so dangerous forward to centre, uh, you don't want to give him any time and space. So, um, yeah, we'll put some work into him um, and, uh, yeah, he's had an unbelievable career, um, one of the all-time greats. So many matches against Geelong over your career, what does facing them mean personally? Yeah, just another opportunity against them. We've had some, I've had some big battles against them, um, big finals. So, uh, yeah, it's great to go at him again and we'll see how we go. Yeah. What did you learn from that game against Geelong earlier in the season when they dominated for a quarter and a half but won yeah. comfortably just on that quarter and a half? Oh, we're against a good size, you've got to play four quarters of footy. I think with that third quarter, um, we really let ourselves down in all departments of the game. So we can't, we can't afford to fade in and out of games. We've got to be right on edge um, and play every minute of the game. So I think that was a big learning out of, out of the last time we played them. Yeah. What's, yeah. what, what, what's impressed you about the group since you've been here? Uh, just how hungry they are, I think. Um, they're a tough, resilient group that want to get better. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're the things I really uh, noticed when I first walked into the door. And um, Yeah, it's exciting. They're young and want to get better. It's awesome to be a part of it. Is this a lure to come, being, thinking you'd be in this position now? Say that again, this, sorry. With being in this position now and thinking you'd get here again, the lure, one of the lures to come? Uh, it was mainly for me to get uh, my career back on track. I, wanted, I thought a fresh start would do me the world of good. Um, 
and uh, the physios and the fitness, fitness guys up here have, have got a really good track record and obviously with Fags and Hodgie and the guys on an upward spiral, it was really attractive. So I um, thought I'd give it a go and it's starting to pay off all right. Is that why you think Joe Danaher wants to be a Brisbane Lion? Is it, is it the medical staff there? Possibly. Um, I'm not too sure. You have to ask Joe, but um, I think he's had a pretty good close relationship with our head physio, Peter Blanche. So, um, yeah, there might be something in that. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it's a great environment, great place to be. So um, it's an attractive club to, uh, to come and play footy. Did you think you were going to give it away last year or any stage during the injury battles? No, that never thought entered my mind. Um, I was lucky enough to, to play a few games in the back end of last year. Um, all bad, I was underdone. I felt as though I still gave a bit and showed that I could still play the game. So um, I thought with a full pre-season and some more work, um, yeah, that would do me. The, it would put me in good stead and I'll be able to play some good footy. So just really proud of the fact that I've been able to get my body really strong and resilient again and I'm able to back up each week, which has been great. At the start of the season when you joined up, there was about four of us. <laughs> yeah. It's a world of difference here, isn't it? Have you seen that through the season of how things are changing in the club and around the club? Yeah, no, it's great. Um, as I said, it's a great place to be around. We're building. It's exciting. Um, it's great that everyone's here on board. So, um, yeah, it's only a good thing. It's awesome. Yeah.